All morning long, we continue to take a closer look at also USA, located right here in Mobile. And right now, there are two, count them two, ships being built for the U.S. Navy by the company. The LCS is the first, and the second is the Joint High Speed Vessel, also known as the JHSV. And that is the type of vessel the USS, I should say the USNS Trenton is, and that is being christened Saturday. And that is why we've been live all morning long. I'm going to go ahead and throw it out to our very own Stephen Quinn and my co-anchor Darwin Singleton, joined by a live guest. Excited to hear what you're talking about this half hour, gentlemen. Hey, good morning again, Kelly. We are talking about, of course, the USNS uh, Trenton, which is behind us, the uh, brand new joint high-speed vessel that is being christened tomorrow here at Austo USA. Terry O'Brien is with us this morning. He's vice president here at Austo USA and former uh, Navy. What did you do in the Navy? I was a captain of the ship and a squadron commander. So you've so, done all this before? Uh, a lot of it, yeah, absolutely. And Terry, you have some stuff you want to show us here. Explain to our viewers what we're looking at in terms of these little trinkets here. I understand they have some value to the ceremony that will be taking place tomorrow. Right. As a precursor, as you go through uh, this process, the ship's first name. So Trenton was named by the Secretary of the Navy, and then they pick a ship's sponsor. And she's the one that will be christening the ship tomorrow. And our sponsor is Virginia Kamsky. Um, she's a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, um, a noted expert on China. And uh, Secretary Mavis has chosen her to be our sponsor. Uh, She's awesome. She, what a background she has. Now we're talking about these items here that she'll be touching some of them, but this is something that goes in the ship itself uh, under the mast, is that right? Correct. What will happen is this box that's here, there will be items placed into the box, and then this box will be welded shut. It will be placed under the mast of the ship, and the mast will be set down upon it. And this will, this will be part of the ship's voyages wherever she goes. So it's like a time capsule right here, isn't it? Correct. Okay. And I understand there's, a, we see, it's hard for our viewers to see, but there's actually some coins in here. And it's my understanding, we were told when we came and visited, that this actually comes from, from Greek mythology of laying coins down to pass over the river Styx and that that tradition has continued ever since. Correct. A lot of all the seagoing traditions date back and as a sailor you never want to violate the tradition because you never want to find out if it was wrong. So <laughs> what what happens the sponsor infuses her spirit into the ship and so by putting items into the box it's like her spirit and those of the crew the initial crew have gone into the box where it will be sealed and then it will always travel with the ship throughout the life of the ship. Now we're going to move on to this next coin right here. This is a commemorative coin and Mardi Gras folks can appreciate this because we get medallions but this is very special. It is. It's a it's a military challenge coin. Uh, it again dates back to the Roman days where people where soldiers who had done well in battle would be given an extra coin and they would have that. What it's evolved to in recent days, the Army really started it, but with all services, each unit, each military unit has a coin emblazoned with its crest. And so as a member of that unit, you always carry it with it. And if you're uh -huh. challenged on what unit you're from, you must present your coin. Okay. If, if you don't have the coin, you have to buy a round for the man that challenged you. Sweet. <laughs> okay, we've got just a few seconds yep. to wrap it up here. This is a christening bottle. We have seen and we have video actually of a woman trying to dedicate and christen the USS Fall, USNS Fall River recently. Uh, she had a little trouble breaking that, but that's really fancy. And then after it's broken, uh, what happens to it? And she has, here's a video of her trying to actually break it. It took her three tries. It almost doesn't always go off the way it's supposed to. But after it's broken, what do you do? The bottle's scored. She breaks it. We take the bottle. It's enmeshed in wire so the glass doesn't shatter. We put it in what's known as a casket. A casket. Which, which has a, a glass top so they can view the bottle and, uh, and have a memory of, uh, of their participation. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Terry O'Brien with Also USA. All of this goes into tomorrow's ceremony for the Trenton. We'll be back in a few minutes to wrap up our stay at Austin, USA. It's been a great visit. Well, you know, anyone who's familiar with the military, gentlemen, they know it's about honor and tradition, so it makes sense that every detail is thought out and carried out. Awesome. Thank yes. you so much.